Okay, hey guys. So today we're starting off with a bleach part wig. I've actually never done this before, but I'm super excited. As you see, I parted off a section of the hair. I parted that section off when I actually put the wig on my head just to make sure I knew where I wanted to. But when you see in this video, I actually didn't put like plastic wrap over the hair to make sure that the other pieces don't get bleached. But in a few, you're gonna end up seeing that I fixed that. But when you're doing the bleach, make sure that you're saturating all the pieces. You wanna know, you want all the pieces to get bleached. Um, this took so long for me, guys. Okay, now you see I'm actually putting the plastic wrap. But make sure you get the roots and everything, you know, saturated. As you can see, one of the pieces are actually turning um, or bleaching to a blonde. My goal for this was actually to go platinum blonde for this section because I just had already like an inspiration photo that I wanted to do. So that was what I wanted, but it's extremely hard to, you know, go platinum blonde to black um, or black to black platinum blonde, sorry. Um, so I'm just trying to make sure that every piece gets saturated so it won't be too much work for me. When I did this, it actually took me three times, like three bleaches in the video. Like, okay, so this is the second time I'm about to bleach it. And as we see, it's still some brown pieces, some black pieces, and that's just not what I wanted. So I had to go into it again. Um, and I did the same routine, you know, piece by piece make sure every piece is saturated i had to do this three times because it just took so long um for it to actually lift to the color that i wanted and then i toned it after with the wella toner um i didn't show that part of the video because i think i just got so exhausted and i just wanted to move on to the next piece so that's what you'll be seeing. Make sure if you're doing this hairstyle to use the saran wrap um, around the hair or anything that will cover the um, other pieces of the hair just so you don't bleach anything else that's not intentionally supposed to be bleached. So I'm just going in with a comb and you know making sure everything is saturated so I don't have to go back in too many times. Remember, I bleached this three times, so that was the process. Why are you so tall? Oh my god. Do you see my eyelashes? Whoa. The wow. Okay, guys. So, I just pulled up on here with the wig on. I didn't even, I didn't give you no... No examples, no nothing. I just put it on. So, this is how it turned out. Right now, you guys might be like, what is going on, Tati? What is this plan? Look. You gonna see this as a look. You're gonna be like, oh my God, Tati, you invented something. Even though I didn't invent something, cause, okay, we're gonna ignore this crust. Cause it wasn't coming off. And it seems like she wants to be a part of the family. So we just go, cause she gonna get covered anyways. But. Basically, this is the Nadula hair, um, and it was a originally 24 inch. I cut a little bit in the back because um, I wanted to. I wanted to, first of all, hi guys, my name is Tatiana, welcome to my channel. But basically, I wanted to go for this one part bleach. I'm gonna show you why, hold on. So there's this girl, I'm just gonna show y'all a picture of her on here somewhere and I saw this and I was like oh this would be really pretty to do so I'm doing it and basically you saw in the first clip I bleached the hair on camera it's looking a little bit more warm tone because of the ring light but in person it looks very I would say very icy up until here it starts getting more like brown blondish 
which is fine because I think that was just like my foundation color that did that. But yeah, I'm planning to do this because I thought it looked bomb and I'm bored. So I'm gonna put some layers into this. I'm gonna attach this. And this is gonna be kind of a two part because I'm gonna be styling it tomorrow because I have to do something tomorrow. I know I said that I was gonna do that the last video and I didn't, but this time I really have to because I have no choice. But yeah, today I'm just gonna show you guys the install, the cut, and everything and how to really get this baby on. I'm excited because this looks so cute. And I'd be bored, I need something new. All my friends, all my close friends are probably going to be like Tatiana. Because I told them that I was going to do a bob. At this point, if you don't know what's coming with me, I guess you don't know me. Because I switch it up every day, sis. I could say a bob one day. The next day, I say something different. This is going to be so cute. Oh, my God. But, yeah. I saw on TikTok, it's a bunch of girls that be doing this bleach part. And I wanted to try it myself. So... Let's start. I'm probably gonna do a voiceover because I came to the conclusion I did that in my last wig video and that was pretty fun. So I'll just entertain you. There's hair in my face. I'll just entertain you in that way. But for now, just watch me, you know, put this on and lay it on. Let's go. Okay, so I'm back. Now we're actually installing the wig. You guys have seen me install a wig so many times. Um, I'm just going in with an alcohol um, cotton pad just to get the excess off of my hair. And as we know, you know, cutting the pieces, sections, baby, sections help, I promise you. Okay, so this glue, guys, this time I didn't use Ghost Bond because I realized, you know, Ghost Bond is trying to take my edges and I'm not appreciative of that. So I saw that Arigante actually uses this wig glue and it kind of reminds me of the consistency of got to be, but better, to be honest, it came off so easily when I wanted to take my wig off um, it wasn't as sticky I just realized when I was doing this I wished I used less glue than what I used um, before but you know trial and error but if you do decide to use this glue I would for sure use a little bit and build up um, instead of going in with a lot because you're gonna see soon on the blonde section um, it just wasn't as late as I wished it was um, but yeah if you do decide to do this I would or use this gel I would definitely you know build up and use little by little um, so as you see I definitely used a lot but it's all good it still came out hella bomb so, but yeah, um, honestly, I definitely really love using this glue. Um, it's so good, to be honest. I'm very curious to see what it's like on your edges, because if it could hold down my wig, sis, I'm definitely intrigued to see what it's like on my edges. Also, so I realized since I bleached my uh, part three times, the hair, you know, she was a little dry and it was a little difficult to, you know, bring her back to life, but I did what I can. Um, so I just want to warn you guys, if you do decide to bleach your side part three times, um, she might be a little dry. I did use a silicone mix to try to bring it back to life as much as I can. But I mean, obviously you're bleaching your hair in one day, it's gonna do some type of damage, but it's actually not that bad when you see the end result. So now I'm just taking the blow dryer and you know, getting those pieces down. That's how I keep those pieces intact. So yeah.
this is what is what we're working with right now i kind of cut the blonde part a little too short but lucas is on the phone guys but if not i'm putting on a sock not nah, she's trying to get cute anyways guys i cut the blonde part a little too short when i was doing layers but when i curl it it's gonna actually look pretty good i'm hoping but yeah this is what we're doing right now and then tomorrow i'm gonna come back and show my hair when it's curled so i'll see you tomorrow would you like to say bye to them bye everybody <laughs> bye Bye guys. Okay guys, so this is the la the next day actually after that clip you just saw and my hair was already curled um from the previous night of me um going out to dinner with my friends, but I'm just going to show you um how I curled it. And this, I wanted to tell you guys about this. This straightener is so good guys i think it's like the nano nanotech something if you see this flat iron at ulta or somewhere pick it up it doesn't matter what size it is it's so good i used it i've had this i don't know flat iron for so long and it's never done me wrong it makes my hair feel so good um also nadula hair i really enjoyed how soft this hair was and how long it was able to take up the bleach but as you see, I put these rollers. It's like these blowout rollers. Um, I got them from CVS and they weren't expensive at all. I think they were like maybe $12, which was cool. And it came with a whole pack of different sizes. I just used the medium and the large, but they help so much when you just want that like blowout type of look rather than um, super duper type curls. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through it and go through my hair with this flat iron that is so bomb. Please go out and get it if you don't have it. Like, it's sad. I own like maybe three flat irons and they all have different purposes, but this one is just the OG. She does it for me. But yeah, you know pull the hair through the flat iron gets really super hot so i had to be careful and not burn my fingers so yeah i'm just getting it through you know flicking it out and brushing the roller through my hair i really enjoyed this hairstyle it just really reminded me of those like early two, 2000s um blowout hair that a lot of girls had and it was just super cute And then now we're just on the last piece and I did have layers in my hair so it was a little hard for me to make sure I get everything in there ah, I look so crazy um, and now we're at the next part I'm just taking the rollers out that takes so quick I think I was going to go get a tattoo after this which is funny I have a vlog coming up so don't press me I know I know I know somebody's gonna be in the comments like, where is the video? I know. But yeah, I'm just taking out the rollers. Super easy. Um, they don't leave any dents. Found this, I think you can find this honestly at any Sally's anywhere. I was just at CVS and I found them. Oh, so pretty. Do we see the layers, sis? Like, this is so, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just looks so good. Oh my God. Definitely do this hairstyle, guys. If you have any time or just want to, you should. It, it really gave me life. Like the bounce and everything. And think about it, I bleached that part three times and she's still, you know, hanging in there. So I'm really proud of how I did it. It looks so cute. I also wanted to see what it would look like in like a half up, half down and bomb so definitely try out this hairstyle um i love you guys and i'm about to dip out <laughs> and i'll see you guys in another video